Hi everyone! So on day 5 of my No New Dolls Challenge, I failed and I went and bought a doll. But it's from a brand new line called Project MC Squared and it's called Adrian's Volcano. So Project MC Squared is a line of dolls and also a television series on Netflix that tries to interest girls in science, technology, engineering, and math, which is called STEM. And the dolls come as basic dolls, but they also come with an experiment. What is STEM? STEM is science, technology, engineering, and math. And um, the ones with the experiment cost a little bit more. I think this one was $24.99. But those are the four characters um, from left to right. Bryden, Michaela, um, Adrian, and Cameron. They are recruited to become spies or secret agents, and they're each good at a different aspect of science. So this one, Adrian Adams, what's she good at, honey? Adrian Adams is good at Spanish. Oh, okay, yeah, she's from Spain. She speaks Spanish, but she's... Why does she say Spain? She's a culinary chemist. Spain is the name of their country. Is that a thing? <laughs> yeah, they always <laughs> ask her, is that a thing? In the, in the show. So she comes with a volcano, a beaker of pink sand, this pipette here, and a comb um, that is shaped like a beaker. And here is the doll herself. Um, I think this doll is quite cute. I like her lavender hair, uh, hair band hair, with a bow uh, on it. Hair band? Yeah, I lost the word for a second. She's got long blonde hair. Why does every show have long hair like Monster High or Raptor High and MC Squares? I don't know. She has red uh, glasses, horn rimmed. Are those horn rimmed? I don't know. Big brown eyes and no earrings. And no. she wears a floral shirt, uh, a pink shirt with a floral pattern. Or is that peach? What is floral? And then it means with flowers. Do you meant to say coral? I No, I meant to say floral and a belt that looks like a black bow, and a skirt with black birds, and a light green necklace, and a white cardigan over everything. So it's very cute. The, the doll doesn't have much accessories, doesn't wear leggings, and her shoes are cute. They almost remind me of those um, black and white wingtip tuxedo shoes that men wear. And she wears lacy bobby socks, and there are pink heels on her shoes. And in the series, she kind of insists on wearing heels all the time. So now let's talk about the experiment that she comes with. Um, you, so these are instructions that are on, that are inside the box, and it tells you you have to have your own baking soda and food coloring and a plate and um, dish soap and uh, vinegar and a tablespoon measurer. Cool. And yeah, and it tells you what you have to do. You put the volcano down on a plate. We already did that like five times. I know, we'll talk about that after this. And um, it just tells you what to do. You add baking soda, food coloring, the dish soap, then you add uh, the vinegar and then you watch it explode. But the thing is that the back of the box um, says something different. It says one teaspoon of baking soda instead of one tablespoon. So here's our baking soda. Here's our food coloring. Ooh, what and is food coloring? First, we decide to use apple cider vinegar. Apple and, cider. And uh, we put uh, about a, ta a tablespoon of baking soda into the Here's top of the jar. And then we put in two drops of the red food coloring. Red? Why do you need red? Because we wanted the lava to look red. Then we put in the dish soap. But it's orange. Oh, you're right. Lava is orange. And then we took a pipette of the apple cider vinegar and we added that. And here but is what Adrian happened. Adam. Look at what happened the first time we tried it. Yeah, and then in the movie of Adrian Adams, it was pink and it went all over the place. Yeah, this one was a little bit disappointing. So yeah. I thought, well, maybe it was the vinegar. So let's try this rice vinegar. It had um, um, slightly higher acidity, I think. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. 
Wait, I think it has six percent. That's that means how much acid content. All acid? right, let's see what happened this second time. We added in the Thing. rice wine vinegar. Boom! Here it comes again. But it's not pink or red, and it's a little bit disappointing here too, right? <laughs> I get laughing. Yep, she kept laughing. <laughs> Every single time. And then we tried this vinegar, balsamic vinegar of Modena. Modena. Yeah, um, or maybe this is the one with 6% acidity. How long so we added that. Nice. Okay, we put in the red food coloring. We put in the dish soap. Here's the dish soap. Do we put in the castle? I actually <coughs> actually put in too much dish soap there. Uh oh, then what's gonna happen? Well, then this was the best result, I think. Look, see, look. Yay, lots of lava overflowing, except the balsamic vinegar is brown. <laughs> so we had brown lava. So then we decided, you know what? The box says we could also use soda. So we tried some seven up. So here's the experiment with the seven up. That's it. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> yeah, you're laughing now, but what did you do after? What did you do? I don't know. You cried, didn't you? <laughs> yes. Why did you cry? Because I wanted it to work. Yeah, and it didn't. And what did you call this? A blah volcano? Yeah. <laughs> so, I really like the concept of this line of dolls. A oh, line here of I dolls. just ended up pouring the soda in. But Ooh, yeah. one thing I wish they would do is get the instructions consistent. Two, I wish they would explain the reason that you're getting this chemical reaction. It's because you're adding an acid to a base. And third, um, I just wish that the experiment worked better because I know my daughter really wanted to see the lava exploding out of the volcano and that is not what happened. So it could have been something we did wrong. My theory as to what's wrong is that the volcano is very narrow so there's not a ton of baking soda and when you pour in the vinegar it's not reacting with enough of it. So I think we might just need a bigger volcano. That is my theory. Anyway, because she was so disappointed with the experiment results, I told her we could get Michaela McAllister today, so hopefully that goes better. Thank you for watching.